and Ball Cricket. Thanks for checking in for another review video today. Guys, today is episode number 11 of the lead up to the 2018-19 Australian Summer. Today we're doing a review video of some cricket shoes. We're looking at the ASICS 300 Not Out. And this is an updated colour scheme for the 2018-19 season. Alright guys, let's get into this one. Now guys, the ASICS 300 Not Out is a shoe that is designed for more so for the bowling all rounder. And what I mean by that is it has features inside the shoe that's more conducive than bowling than it is for batting, but is the shoe is versatile enough to be able to be used for both. So the first piece is the completely reinforced heel at the uh, in and around the back of the shoe. This is designed to give good stability as the foot's coming through and planting on the crease to allow the foot to stay nice and stable and in control as it's uh, transitioning through the crease and through the delivery stride. That means it also has these uh, nice and large reinforced uh, plastic pieces through the sole of the shoe. This particular piece is designed to reduce the lateral movement of the shoe from side to side. While we're in and around the heel, you can actually see this darker grey section. The guys at ASICS refer to this as Duomax. This is the higher density, more stable foam. This is what stops the shoe from rolling inwards, which is called overpronating. It can, can be quite damaging to your ankle, so a good stability shoe. Coming through to the forward or the front part of the shoe, it has uh, the upper part here is actually full leather or a synthetic leather, but it is a full covering. There's not a terrible lot of mesh inside this shoe, guys. And uh, the other pieces around the toe is this P guard that allows, so uh, what fast bowlers might have a tendency to do is actually drag their foot through the crease. And so having this higher wear piece means that that leather or synthetic leather is actually well protected to, to, um, to preserve the shoe. Well, as I did mention about mesh, I will come a little bit close for this piece, but in and around the actual ASICS logo on both sides of the shoe is actually uh, some type of mesh. I'm actually quite impressed with how much mesh they've been able to get into the shoe trying to keep the weight down while still having those really good bowling features. Quite impressed with those pieces. We come around and have another look at the bottom of the shoe. It's got a seven four spike configuration. So there's seven spikes at the, uh, at the top of the shoe and four at the bottom. Now what I have got this shoe, and I'll come a bit closer for this, I do have this guy spiked up for, uh, for a batting all rounder. And so it has converted as a half spike. Now these are actually the standard studs that are sold with this shoe. So the conversion studs of these are very, very good. I actually made a comment in an earlier video this season in regards to the uh, to the New Balance uh, conversion studs not being this nice spread design. So quite impressed with those. However, one of the things that I am quite surprised with is the quality of the spikes. First thing is, is they're very small, they are plastic, and quite honestly, they come across as being quite flimsy in the way that they're in. Now this is a boot that um, the likes of Josh Hazelwood has been bowling in uh, recent years. Um, the, uh, the earlier version of this boot, uh, Mitchell Johnson, um, did bowl in on, on occasion. So it's a bowling boot that does, or a shoe that does need to stand up to the rigors of fast bowling. These spikes really don't cut the mustard for me. That said, they do have these kind of four little additional smaller spikes. So potentially the argument is, is you're not putting as much force through the actual center spike on at each of the locations. You're actually spreading some of that weight and some of that pressure out across the spike. Um, but for me guys, it, it does not cut the mustard. I'm a traditionalist in most of my cricketing stuff and just having a good traditional metal spike through those guys is, is realistically, I think, where the, where the money is. What I do uh, quite like about the sole of the ASICS, and we'll turn it on the side here, try and get a good view, is you do actually get some good dimpling in and around the sole of the shoe as well. So it means that you do get uh, those good enhanced pieces in regards to the, the grip of the, uh, of the product. Right guys, so now it's time for a rating out of 10. The areas that I look at are the design and functionality, build and material quality, and if there's any customizations of the product. Now, first up, one of the things that I'm quite impressed in regards to the design of these shoes is the amount of mesh that they've been able to get through the side parts of the shoe without jeopardizing any of the, uh, the uh, support features that come with a bowling all-rounded shoe. 
This particular shoe, um, with uh, with its spikes, but without the inner sole, comes in at 496 grams. That's with the Duomax. That's with that really good, strong uh, quality um, back part of the uh, of the shoe, and with that full kind of leather or synthetic leather upper. In comparison. My old 4030 is uh, is pretty much that same weight, but it doesn't have the same protection inside the, but it doesn't have that same stability control through the sole of the shoe, nor does it have that Duomax, and uh, there's there's a bit more there's a bit more mesh through this shoe and doesn't have that same shoe protection for dragging of the foot, and there's only four grams different um, set up as same configuration as a half spike. So pretty impressed that the guys at ASICS have been able to keep this shoe quite light while still packing in those, those particular features. So in regards to the build and material quality, for shoes, the pieces that I generally look at is in and around the seam where the rubber uh, midsole of the shoe joins the, uh, the upper. In and around this section of the shoe, you do you, there is the potential that you might actually have some glue overspill. Across these shoes, that doesn't present at all whatsoever. And the other area I generally look at for is stitching. So across the top here, there is a, a bit of detailed stitching here. All of those stitches are well finished. There's none that's out of place. And there's none of the kind of fabric that you think kind of is, is strange or, or out of shape or out of place. So the actual build and material quality of the shoes is, uh, is very good. One thing I do find a little bit particular is that the, uh, the actual color scheme is basically this rich red color and a navy blue, yet there are these uh, orange tones on the shoe. So you've got an orange inner sole, an orange ASICS logo, and in underneath here, in underneath the laces is orange as well. That's a bit confusing for me, but uh, look, don't, they, they are sort of well hidden away so that um, if you're someone that does worry about the, uh, the color scheme, that's hidden and so isn't or shouldn't be too much of a problem for you. Guys, the one final piece for me here is any customizations. No customizations from my angle of these shoes to get them uh, to fit for purpose. Oh, like I did mention, I am concerned about the quality of these spikes, so I will take those out. I am being a little bit critical in the design and functionality at this point because I'm not, uh, I'm not sold that these particular spikes are ones that for longer term, when I was using these types of shoes for, uh, for bowling, that's this uh, first spike used to get well and truly worn out for me on the left shoe, and I'm just not sure, I'm not convinced that this particular um, harder type plastic and that little spike is going to cut the mustard for, for the amount of force that would be going through that particular spike. So I am writing these guys a nine out of 10, and that is my sort of only criticism of the, of the shoe, is that, um, that, that spike that just does not meet up to, uh, to expectations um, for me. Because the next piece to talk about is the price. I paid roughly $190 for these because I am a member of one of my uh, my cricket uh, my local cricket retailers. However, the shoe does um, does retail for about another $15 more than that. Guys, from a value for money perspective, so if you're the type of person that does need that, that good uh, heel and back of foot stability, as well as that Duomax, the little bit of extra dollars that you spend on these, um, I think the uh, the equivalent shoes in the New Balance range is uh, is probably the New Balance 4040, which has a re completely re new or redesigned for this year. Uh, my original uh, decision to go to New Balance was because that was at a better price point than what the ASICS was. They're pretty much on to par now. So my opinion is potentially that the uh, if you're looking for an all-rounded shoe that you can bat and bowl in, this guy from ASICS is I would think is probably more uh, akin to your, to your value for money shoe because it does give you those enhanced features. Right guys, that pretty much concludes this review video of the ASICS 300 Knockout. As is always the case with any of my videos, if you do have any questions or any comments, please don't hesitate in dropping those down into the comments section. Because I'd really like to ask you that if you have been a watcher of Bat Ball Cricket for a while, but are not a subscriber, I'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button. So the main reason I do this is uh, for the enjoyment I get through the process, but also making sure that my videos are meeting your expectations. So if you're doing that, please hit the thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. So guys, we're now over halfway for the videos for this particular series. 
Still a number to come in the series, so I would strongly recommend you stay tuned over the coming weeks. But if you're keen to see my videos when they're released, hit that notification bell. Alright guys, this is Clinton from Battle Ball Cricket. We'll catch you again really soon. Bye for now.